resolution expressing the sympathy on the death of Lawrence G. Miller. We resolve by this assembly, whereas on May 31st, 2014, the state of Connecticut lost one of its distinguished state representatives with the passing of Lawrence G. Miller, and whereas he served with us as a state representative from 1991 until his death, representing the 122nd district, which includes the towns of Stratford, Shelton, and Trumbull, and whereas he was a principal and tenacious advocate for constituents and a passionate and outspoken supporter of children, families, workers, open space, and local control of towns and cities, and well, as well as affordable housing, energy efficiency, and stem cell research, whereas he, as a longtime Stratford resident. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Any of us who have been in this chamber for one day know what a great loss Representative Larry Miller is. So he wanted to make sure everybody was taken care of. He had his eye out for all of us. He wanted to make sure you did the right thing, but that you were happy doing it. And he was a man that loved everything he did. His wonderful family, who's here today, this job, even when he wasn't feeling well, even when each and every one of us would take him and say, Larry, listen, I think we should take you home or we should take you to the hotel or you should sit down. He fought it and he fought us every step of the way and that's what a great man he was. He, he believed in it, he loved it, he loved everyone here. And you know, there's not many people. We all work with a lot of people every day. Some of us are here for two years, some of us are here longer. Um, but the people you remember are the ones that do it because they have that passion in their gut. He loved his towns. He had a passion for children. He had a little bit of interest in affordable housing here and there. And once he became ill, he wanted to help people who had his illness and his great passion for stem cell research going forward. So, Mr. Speaker, if I may just introduce the family and friends that are here today. We have his wonderful and lovely wife, Millie. I do not have the list in order, so excuse me if they go out of order. Um, his brother-in-law, Gus Chigaris, nice Greek man, so we like him even more. Um, son, John Miller, daughter-in-law, Jennifer Miller, grandchildren, Samantha and Catherine Miller, Mary Ellen Dunbar, Carol Peters, Debbie Schlein, his daughter Leslie, and Millie and Joe Patria. If I pronounced that incorrectly, I apologize. We also have Lou DeCilia, who is the Stratford RTC chairman, who is also a very close friend of his. If you can all just please stand so we can see you. 